So yes, so welcome to the village. This is Thank the you. Village. He says. I look forward to exploring it further. Yes. Okay. She's, she, uh, from spending essentially the day with her, although, mm -hmm. ooh, it looks like you are getting close to your chess appointment time. Yes. Uh, you, you do uh, uh, think that um, uh, she she's keeping the kind of amused look on her face, but she's pretty fucking tense and wired, right? Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. It, it's, yeah, it's, she's keeping the mask up. All, every, all all the stuff's going on underneath. Oh, yes. Uh, and also, you think she uh, believes and or trusts you not at all. No. Especially since, you know, you have a regular daily chess game here and also claim to have just gotten here today. Yes. So they're rather thwarting you, you think. Mm-hmm. Um, you then hear over the loudspeaker, number two, please report to the chess lawn for your game. Number two to the chess lawn. Oh, I thought they said it was going to be near the old people's home. Hmm, she says. Uh, you see a yellow taxi come up. And uh, he says, would you like a lift, number two? Certainly, thank you. If you'll excuse me, number six, unless you wish to come along and watch. No, I'm quite fine. Uh, thank you, number two, for the tour of your village. Certainly. Uh, there's the taxi. Another sign you got to see, uh, the yellow one there next to it. Music begins where words leave off. I have no clue what the fuck that means. But you do find the old timer at the chess lawn. Here are some pictures mm -hmm. of what the chess lawn looks like. You will be playing with live humans. Oh, yes. Because it's the 60s, apparently. Yes. <laughs> and people are willing to stand around for a long fucking time so you can get your chess on. Yes. I have no idea why. So uh, the old timer's like, well, ready to sacrifice some pawns, are we, number two? Let's give me a chess roll, please, Pete. Yes, I knew you were going to ask for that. <laughs> um, all right. Tell you what, to sweeten the stakes, if you can actually win this, and I'm just going to have you make your roll because I know you suck at chess, if you can actually win it, I'll give you a fucking hand refill. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to play my skill plus five card just to raise it up from base. Okay. Yes, as Holmes picks up another new chess thing. If you roll another natural one, then I will <laughs> lose my fucking mind. Uh, if I roll a natural one, oh, I'll be quite surprised. <laughs> You've done it twice so far, so. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. No, I don't make my chess roll. Ah, would you like to blow all your hero points on trying to make it? You no, know, I think I'll give that um, a pass. Damn. Damn and blast. Uh, it appears you went down rather quickly this time, number two. Eventually, you may have me yet. Eventually. Oh, yes. Quite. Good game. Yes, well, it is ultimately you that plays it. That's right. Hmm. Well, thank you very much for the game number two. I look forward to our next match tomorrow. Indeed. Thank you. He totters off to wherever the fuck he's going. Yes. I shall go to the arcade. All right. And in inquire with whoever's running the place. Uh, right. You meet up with uh, number 144. He's got a bit of food on his shirt. He says, number two. Good afternoon. 
How are you today, 144? I'm, I'm, I'm fine, sir. Uh, is there anything the matter? Um, no, no, I was just curious. The um, game that is out of order, what is wrong with it? I'm not sure, sir. We're waiting for the repairman, sir. I see. Do you mind if I have a look at it? Uh, if you wish, sir. Okay. Could could I have the keys to it, please? Uh, yes, sir. He goes and gets them, and um, right, yes, you you open it up. Uh, give me a computer roll at half, or uh, it is a bit more advanced than your time period of origin, I believe. Yes. Well, like, um, uh, yeah, 2021 or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've, also got electro I've also got electronics depending on the the nature of it, if it's hardware or software. Uh, it's it's both, actually. So, yes, that. And also, do you have uh, alien technology skills? No, I do not have alien technology skill yet. I have a good news for you then, Pete. If you yes. can make that, you also get a check in learning. So give me all three. It'll be all fine. Right. If you get it running so, again, you could even play it. Computer use. Oh, so yeah. So was it computer use at half, or just make the roll and tell you how much I make it by? Um, just make the roll. With, I don't think you're going to repair it because of the alien tech thing. Um, yeah. So I make computer use by twenty-five. You get a check in the computer. Yep. Uh, computer, computers. Where where to go? Going blind. There it is. Uh, electronics. No, oh, don't make my electronics roll. It's broken. Mm, but yes, we'll have a fill around. Alien tech. Oh, let's not write it down yet. Let's. What have we got? Uh, I'll burn my other skill plus five. And no, no alien tech roll. Ah, I, the only other th hmm? I said it's broken. Yes. The only other thing is uh, on the inside of the machine, it does uh, label it as property of blips and chits. Blips and chits. Mm -hmm. The machine okay. property of blips and chits. When it is powered up and turned on. It's not doing either because it's still broken. You're yeah, certain. that's what I was just trying to get an idea oh. of if it just, if it powered up at all or just comes up with an error message or no, just, it's is not completely even dead. 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 All right. All right. Um, could you put it back to the other panel with the discard pile, please, so I can yes. discard? Looking for this. Uh... Excuse me. Hey, yep. Thank you. Just so I don't clutter up the other screen. Hmm. Jolly good. All right. Why in the fuck do you have numbered wine? Oh, um, yeah. It was, we bought uh, just some reserve wine we bought from winery a few years ago with some friends. Ah, I was going to say, I, I don't think it would survive along, around me long enough to <laughs> give a shit about its number and just be drunk. Oh, well, yeah. Well, we've got a few other bits, a few other wines. That's the good stuff that we put aside to drink. We don't normally touch. That We just thought last night, why not? We hadn't had any of the good stuff for a while, so. Hmm. Fancy. All right. Um, so, yes. I'm guessing you don't chop the uh, top of the bottle off and just dump it into your mouth. It's very strange. No. Um, <laughs> uh, bro broken, broken glass shards tends to dissuade me of doing that sort of thing. It gives it a bit of extra zest. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. 
which I should, didn't write down. In the picture, it looked like you were ready to try out one of the uh, high fidelity sound systems in the back. I'd spent half the, half the day clear, cleaning our outdoor setting. Four birds have decided had decided that they made a really good home, so spend most of their days shitting, sitting on the table in the chairs and shitting all over them. So you live way too close to nature, there. Yes, between the mozzies and the birds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, had, so I was cleaning them up to. Mm. Oops. It's not the one I made it on. Yeah, cleaning them up and then putting a cover over them to protect mm -hmm. them. Hopefully, see this is if you still had your guns in Australia, you could fucking wildly shoot a shotgun a few times, and after you dig the pellets out of it and clean all the bird blood off of your house. Yeah, mm, apologize to the neighbors for the um, shotgun blasts in there mm -hmm. going going through the house. Exactly. They may, well, if they're Americans, they would favor that over the uh, voices of children, obviously. But so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, let the good times roll. All right. Well, I, read, um, I read a study that gun violence goes down during gun shows because all the gun nuts are at the gun shows. <laughs> I thought that was amazing. Uh, it's like, wow. We have an issue. So after playing with the uh, machine. Yes. Nope. It's broken. Definitely broken. 144 agrees. Yes, number two, he says. Mm -hmm. And when, and we don't know when we're expecting the people to come and repair it? No, number two. Uh, it should be within the next week or two, sir. Okay. Nice. Would you like to play pinball? He says, <laughs> trying to make you happy. Oh, no, no, it's okay. It's just this game had me intrigued. All right, he says. Okay. I shall leave that place and head back to my place. Which place? My place. Ah, you go back to number two, the Green Dome. Yes. And I shall go for an explore downstairs, which I hadn't Excellent. checked out. Uh, As in no problem. Taking the stairs, not, not the seat mm -hmm. down. Oh. oh, the seat's so much cooler. But yes, you, you end up uh, exploring around. Give me a navigation or direction sense roll not to get lost in some of the twisting, winding things. You believe that the tunnels underneath the thing may be how they get supplies in and out of the village and such? Mm -hmm. uh, navigate. There she blows. Yes, I make my navigate roll. I don't have to worry about search parties finding my bones there. In years to come. Ever since the cubicle jungle, uh, people have gotten so much more uh, adept at navigating, trying to yeah. avoid the fucking death. <laughs> uh, right. You do find what appears to be a gate out as well, or a gate to somewhere, but the GM cautions you that, uh, you know, if you actually complete this adventure, you'll definitely get more hero points than just wandering off mid stride. Saying, you, I'm out of here, suckers. Well, you could if you want. If you're like, no, fuck this. You definitely, you know the way out now. You have yes. no problem. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. the gate. But as uh, they say, you don't go changing horses midstream, which, yes. what the fuck is wrong with these people? Why are you taking your horses through the stream? Yeah, it's, it's that conundrum of in the beast kin land... Uh -huh. having no idea how fast time's passing compared to here and the potential threats and stuff going on there, such as Simon getting killed, that if I'm not there, if this, I can't do anything if this even goes there. 
Exactly. And that's the thing. I don't, yes, I don't know if it, this link's here or this will go somewhere else. And because that's the other thing I've got, I've, what, that's the one of the things that I have occurred to me that I need to work out is are the gates random, these green gates random, or do they always go to a sp specific location? Good question. Uh, also, yeah. this one's not green. It's kind of um, uh, reddish black, kind of weird pulsing. Reddish black, weird pulsing. Okay. Yes. Just to make it make it even look look more appealing to use. Not. Let the good times roll. You think to yourself. Now let me. I'm just checking my notes. Uh, nope. Before then. Uh, just before then. I like that a lot of the different uh, uh, players are getting a lot of partial information and such, too. Mm -hmm. This makes me very happy. Uh, I didn't note down. All right. Can I recall mm. the you game? Just a note? All I noted down the gate opens up. I didn't note down what the gate looked like. Oh, I, between you and me, I would not worry about the color too much. I am not so okay. slick that I've color-coded color everything. Okay. Yeah. yeah uh, in the future, if I do, I'll let you know. Yeah. It was guarding the gate that Lopan came out. Oh, no, that one job. was yellow. Definitely yellow. Okay, yeah. Just because of the nature of where he potentially came from, well, that and his no. eyes being unbroken yellow, uh, and him his clothing having a great deal of yellow in it. There seemed to you to be a theme to that one for sure. Yes, 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 yes. But yeah, it was yeah. As I said, it was more because you know if he came from on the hills and if it the gate was the same color as this one, I would be less likely to step through it. Yes, yes. I I take a card for a clever thought brain thing. I think this gate leads to one of the seven Chinese hells. Do I want to go through it? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right. Chinese get a lot of hells. Yes. Uh, acting plus 20. Hmm. hmm. I have a game tomorrow. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the schedule. I was like, because I was wondering, do I have anything going on Sunday? Yes, I yes. do. Yeah, I think you got a full one tomorrow, don't you? Uh, two people. Aren't you? Yes. It should be interesting because they are, uh, one of them is brand new and one of them is definitely out of practice because he didn't, I'm not sure how much he gamed in the old days. I can't remember, but uh, one of them's brand new. Eventually, you'll get to play with them, but yeah. they, their lives are rough. Let's go with that. They they don't have the they're they're not s swimming through the river of life as uh, Joshua McKay does. Uh, I mm -hmm. would say they've hit a lot more rocks in their river. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice way to put it. I think sometimes they cause avalanches on themselves as well. <laughs> <laughs> all right um it's probably dinner time by the time i finish wandering around underneath the yes building but yes i know where a gate is get out no problem uh yeah you wander back out um the oh Shit, with something else, give me a luck roll to find. A luck roll. Yes. Yes, luck, luck, luck. Where is it? There if you fail luck, I'll give you a second chance with smell. All right, and smell, you say. Good luck. Uh, smell. No. Life sucks for you. You exit yes. the way you came in, go back up. Yes. Would you like to uh, have your chair come down and then ride it back up, or do you want to use the <laughs> stairs? 
I mean, yeah. um, so in real life, exploration... I might not leave the spell. Or I might not leave the chair in real life. Yes. <laughs> in the the there was that um, concealed door, as in the walls. You know, like the walls mm -hmm. crossing over each other. So that was the part that you explored and you eventually found the gate in. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. That's why I just wanted to confirm it. LinkedIn, we've all learnt. I would also like to point out on the chair, you can spin it completely around, which means if you ever have anybody want, that you want to visit you in number two, you can be omin ominously facing away from them and then swing around suddenly to confront them. Should the, you more, so the more important question is, do I have a cat? Not yet, or if you do, you have not yet seen it, but a white because cat. Spinning the, yes, yeah, spinning around in a chair, I need to have a cat on my lap. I'm sure you could probably acquire one somewhere if you wish. Yes. <laughs> uh, everybody, everybody always thinks about stroking the white cat. What I always think of is standing up in your dark clothes with all this fucking cat fur on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ominous, damn it. Uh, looks like you got some pussy shavings. Shut up. Rah. Yes. Yes. All right. I'll wander back up and it's probably time for dinner. Where would you like to go for dinner? You have um, choices. Uh, you, oh, give me a smell roll. Yes. This should avoid you missing a faux yes. pas. I yes. even smell food being cooked in your house. Yes, I suspected that was going to be the case. Mm. Excellent. Uh, you end up finding a small dining room, uh, and the, the butler comes in, bows to you, and uh, pours you uh, the glass of wine, and then Thank brings you. in uh, food that's all covered and such, and... He lays it out for you. He has not spoken a word so far. Excuse me. Does he have a number on him? No. That's what I thought. Really? Well, just you would have mentioned. You probably would have mentioned it. And I think from the picture, it didn't quite look like he had a number. Hmm. I just wanted to confirm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, he lays out food for you and then bows and departs. Thank you. I shall dine. You do so. Uh, would you like to do so with etiquette or just eat? I shall just eat. This evening, I'm eat dining by myself. Nobody mm. to impress. Very well. You eat the food. It is tasty and probably nutritious. Lovely. Mm -hmm. After dinner, was was the film screening this evening at the Palace of Fun? The Charlie Chaplin film. Yes. Probably the Dictator or something like that. Yeah. Was it was it screening this evening? Uh, yes. All right. I shall wander over to the Palace of Fun and watch the film. Excellent. You go view the uh, film and such. Uh, uh, most of the people who are also viewing the film are older people, and is, you do uh, hear occasional snatches of them reminiscing about the first time they saw this film decades ago type of deal. So, yeah, the night goes pleasantly enough. Everybody's super polite to you and greet you and such. Mm -hmm. um, oh, an empathy roll on the crowd as they stream past you or whatever, or interact with you. Uh, fumble. Excellent. They're going to fucking kill you later tonight, probably to make the corn grow better. Mm hmm Yes. As but, everybody, the, the, the king must die so that the crops may live and the new king may come about. Yes. Thus, the cycle of life is complete. Mm-hmm. All right. What is... um. 
on the left hand next to the palace of fun there is a building to the left next to the woods is that a residential building or is that something else there it's not labeled uh, searching next to the palace of fun to the left oh i see next to the woods there um yes i have no fucking clue what it is pretty much if it's not labeled then i don't know the important building is number six private is where number six is and you are number two <laughs> yes that's probably probably uh, we'll go with the assumption that's residential yeah uh, it's probably like uh, apartments or whatever for the people not cool enough to rate their own private residence. Yep, yep. Now, oh, because yeah, there's a few buildings around that aren't labelled, so presumably mm -hmm. there's different residences over around the place. Absolutely. Yeah. You, right. Oh, you 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 didn't go by the graveyard. Uh, on the the only interesting thing about the graveyard was uh, they had various tombstones and such, just the number on it. <laughs> Do they have so they don't have dates? Uh no, no, just the number. Okay. Some looked fairly recent. Mm. All right, so I will wander back. I shall stroll back to my residence. It shows everybody doing the dark looking at you like later. The blood will be on the crops. <laughs> Look at the size of these I ears. I've been picking my unarmed for a while. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you head back. Uh, the the uh, butler uh, uh, lets you in and uh, appears to be like taking you somewhere, unless you want to ignore him and go somewhere else. No, no, no. I will follow him. He takes you to the uh, library uh, and uh, he. Uh, motions toward a chair and there's a uh, decanter like one of the big ones with the brandy or whatever inside so that you can ha have that and he uh, lights the fire you know so you can regard the fire and sip your brandy or cognac or whatever the fuck they put in those giant glasses yes one of those two probably mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you um <laughs> Oh, Homer Simpson, that's awesome. Yes, I shall yeah, sip sip my drink, sit there, brood by the fireplace. No, I'll um, I'll be casting mm -hmm. my eyes over well, the library, so I'll be casting my eyes over the books just to get an idea of all kinds of different stuff. Uh, philosophy book. This, this is the library of oh, evidence analysis roles. You take in various titles, uh, some. Uh, normal, some esoteric. Uh, where are we? There we go. Yes, maybe this will tell you something interesting. Yes, by over half. This this is uh, the kind of library that has been owned by several different people who have all added uh, in small ways to it and such over mm -hmm. a period of time. Uh, the books have a wide range. Generally, though, what you can tell about the people who have contributed books is they're highbrow and uh, smart. Um, there's books from philosophy to physics, uh, from uh, uh, chemistry to uh, uh, equines, uh, just a diversity of topics. It's not a, a huge library or anything, but it, it, should be enough to keep you amused until you've uh, cracked this case, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. You do feel a bit bad that you don't have a book like uh, Australian people who could beat the shit out of you or something. Just put that <laughs> in there. Shows all the Australians. Ah. All right. Um... Once I've finished, I shall wander off to bed, I think. 
All right. No problem. Um, your your bet has been turned down. Uh, mm -hmm. There is no ridiculous fucking chocolate on the pillow. Who the fuck eats chocolate just before going to goddamn bed? We we just we collected it all up and then ate it during the day or later on mm. when we got when we we're at places that put chocolate by the bed or on the pillow or whatever. I just imagine dentists are the ones who suggested leaving chocolate <laughs> on the pillows. Mm. Yes, maybe. I mean, why would if if dentists make their money off repairing teeth, why would you want to use toothpaste they recommended? Seems dodgy. <laughs> But yeah, you 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 go to sleep. Uh, um, the uh, bed is the only downside is it's not a very wide bed, but you know you, you could buy it. It's comfortable enough, and you've got your fucking. Do you want to wear the ridiculous nineteen sixties pajamas? Of course. Excellent. <laughs> Take a card for so fully immersing yourself in your new evil overlord role. <laughs> um, in my wanderings mm -hmm. either in the residence or elsewhere actually maybe the recreation art and craft place um did there appear to be any s sports stuff oh plenty plenty mm -hmm. uh for for sports you could do indoors in order to keep in shape like badminton rackets or whatever mm -hmm. Um, I mean, they don't have a lot of weird sports like curling and shit like that, but um, your your uh, your thoughts on the thing was that this looks like the kind of place that people are meant to keep in shape, meant to keep their skills mm -hmm. honed, etc. Yes, all right. While Mr. McKay is sleeping, I'm going to grab some more drink and stick something in the nuker. I love That's microwaves so much. So, it's the next morning. You awaken in the village again. All right, yes. <laughs> what um, were you saying, sir? Breakfast. Hooray! Once again, the butler sets it up. Only one uh, setting today, sir. Okay. That was what I was curious about. That would suck to restart each day. All right, so after breakfast, mm -hmm. I shall I want to go and have a look at the file again on number six. I'm guessing you left it on the uh, thing where... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but secret, fuck it. Okay. Oh. Didn't appear to be anywhere else to put it, so. The black phone rings when you are there. Hello. At this point, uh, a large screen comes down. You see the bald guy from downstairs talking on a different black phone to you. You can mm -hmm. hear him through the phone, but you can see him on the screen. Yes. It's like a 1960s version of a fucking cell phone. It's kind of sad. He mm -hmm. says, good morning, number two. Good morning. I wanted to give you the update on number six, number two. Mm-hmm. Uh, it appears that yesterday she uh, roamed around the uh, village. Uh, she spoke with uh, several people. Um, apparently, she spoke with uh, number uh, 45, number 73, number 106, number 111, and... Also today, uh, we are having a new addition coming in, uh, number 39. All right. Who was it she spoke to yesterday? 43? No, sir. 45, 73, 106, and 111. Okay. Mm. By the did way, she, mm. did she seek them out or was it more that they were people that she happened to be passing by? Mm. She didn't really seem to seek them out, but we will keep closer tabs on her, sir. Okay. Mm. Also, give me a um, 
surveillance role, Pete, from your wanderings yesterday. Yes. Uh... <clears throat> you made it? No, no. Sorry, I was just wiping my hands. Mm. His cheese is oily for some reason. Mm. Oily cheese. Ah. Uh, surveillance. Yes. You believe that there are some guards in with the village population? Mm-hmm. Um, but based on uh, your success, I believe that's even under half, yes? Uh, no. No? no I've, only, um, I've only got it at 16. Oh, yes. Uh, they didn't seem especially uh, ready. That makes sense. You're guessing that it, it seems like kind of a dull job here, and it's hard to keep constant vigilance and shit. So, but yeah, they 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 wear the same style of resort clothing and numbered badges as the rest of the people here. They're so used to nothing happening that they've fallen into the dull routine of it all. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Yes. So. Uh, but yes, uh, number 39 may prove to be a bit of a handful, number two. Um, is there a file available? I have one down here, sir. Okay. Well, you said they're going to be a bit, they may be a bit of a handful, so best uh, I look over the file to. Uh, much, much of it's mm -hmm. redacted, but uh, yes, sir. As uh, always. Very good, sir. I'll come down in a moment. He says, yes, sir, and looks around wildly like, shape up, everybody shape up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No All problem. Right. Now, before flicking the button to go downstairs, mm -hmm. yeah. right. in, in number six's file, yes. does it make any mention of DNA testing? Uh, no. Apparently, they... they I, it seems to you, give me a evidence analysis for all. This is kind of while, weird. Yeah, because while this has got a sort of 60s, 60s feel about it, there's some non-60 stuff. Uh, tell me, tell me. Uh, actually, you may not need to make an evidence analysis for all. You seem to have figured it out. Yeah, so I wasn't sure if it's something that's procedural or something not procedural. But yeah, it, yeah it, it's it's a weird thing because they mentioned that she uh, owns a factory and makes replicants, yet yes, uh, they exactly. don't have DNA testing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was reasons. part of the thing I was thinking in a minute. She makes replicants, <laughs> yet, yeah, yeah. This ain't making sense. Um, well, so as much we all the places. Is there any mention as to? If they've examined her for surgical um, changes, ah, uh, plastic surgery and such, they yeah, did being not that find. Her sister is a plastic surgeon. They did not find any of the telltale scars plastic surgery would leave. Mm -hmm. Of course. On the other hand, uh, she may be from such an advanced thing if they're making replicants that it doesn't leave any, but their belief is no. I shall flick the switch to go downstairs. You go down, and uh, yes, the guy down there is uh, very anxious to hand you a file. It's mostly redacted. As far as you can tell, this guy is some sort of fucking... Troubleshooter, spy, action hero. You're not really sure. Uh, most of it's been redacted. He is in peak physical shape. Um, apparently, he has a lot of experience at escape and evasion. Stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. He, 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 look, your, your, your quick perusal says badass. Mm -hmm. And he's being sent here. Basically, they they don't they they're not looking to get anything from him, according to the file. Uh, he's just to be detained here for a bit. Okay. Who's in his who's his welcoming committee?
2001. Would you like to assign one? Um, yes, if there hasn't been if it hasn't been taken care of for someone to show him around and no. um, settle him in. Any, any kind of person in particular you'd like to assign? The guy brings up all the faces from all the people in the village who are have free time. Uh, guard or non-guard, sir? Non-guard. Some of the faces go away. And uh, gender? Um, I will go with, well, a bit hard to tell with this all, but let, let's go with stereotype of Stereo personality stereotype, and let's go with female, attractive female. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fucking take a card. This is about as perfect as it gets. You think? No problem. Uh, yes. Uh, ah, there it is in his file. It says weaknesses: uh, pretty females, gambling, and dry martinis. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Hmm. Wow. So yes, maybe that maybe well no, actually they got numbers, so there wouldn't be like a pussy galore or a um mm -hmm. uh this guy's last known alias is uh it was blacked out, but you can still make it out because you're Joshua McKay. Uh James Horton. James Horton. Mm-hmm. So, you assign a very pretty uh, lady to. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Well done, says 39. <laughs> All right. Brief round of applause from some of the other guys who got overly enthusiastic. He gives them the <laughs> sharp look. <laughs> Thank you. Now he's trying to look like the applause was his idea. <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. I shall wander over to the recreation area. Mm -hmm. And I want to see if they've got anything such as <clears throat> skeet shooting or fencing, that sort of stuff. Yes and yes. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, they because you are number two, they're happy to get a competitor for you in fencing. Uh, actually, I was after a trainer or an instructor as opposed to someone uh, to. They they don't really have that. They've got opponents. Yeah, all right. Then an opponent. Hmm. Then. Excellent. Uh, someone right. Give me a shotgun roll and a fencing roll, please. Or someone to show me. How bad, how bad I am at it. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> all right, where are we? Shotgun, 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 shotgun. There it is. Shotgun is no, not a fumble, but it shows you looking down the barrel. Or <laughs> I said, not a fumble. <laughs> no, you didn't pull the trigger. <laughs> Uh, swords. Nope. Oh, that was closer. So she's looking down the point. <laughs> that's why I was asking, well, that's why I was asking if there was anybody that could train me or instruct me. Mm -hmm. Well, tomorrow you can come by and try again. Yes. Um, oh, actually, yeah. shows, shows a guy, man. Man, man, you're like, hang on a minute. Ah, you win. Fine, parry. Let me see. Oh, fumble on my parry. Oops. Man. Uh, <laughs> Shows you laying on the ground in a ball, and the guy goes, man, man, yes. man. All right. <laughs> now you shall see the power of being number one. <laughs> no, I actually want to learn, so no, I'm not going to do stuff like this guy beat me up. Take him out and shoot him. 
<laughs> I have got a, I've invented a new game, mm -hmm. a new target game. <laughs> You're doing rather well. Kill him. Yes, sir. Perfect. Yes. No, no. Right, let's put I in your need... new super villain uh, persona. We need horses, dogs, and you have a half hour head start. <laughs> You're really getting into the super villain thing like there, aren't you? <laughs> nah, okay. I, yeah, no, I'm not actually doing that. It was just, yes. If I was doing the oh, whole yeah. super villain thing, I would do something like that. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that's lunchtime. Yep. All right. I shall go to... I'll you know, go have lunch. Then I shall... Hmm. You see number 39 is apparently woken up and he's going uh, with the uh, lady and such uh, around as by your order. Give me a empathy roll on number 39. Empathy. Yes, by lots. He's going to be trouble. He'll probably... You're thinking first... He'll probably try to have sex with every female in the village. Mm -hmm. That's good looking. And then he'll escape. Yes. You do see number six is uh, talking to number 45, but they break off when they see you and go their opposite directions. Okay. Number 45 is a female, round face, very white and veiny skin. Ooh, give me a spot at either half or negative 30, your choice. Uh, that. Uh, no. Ah, and she wanders by the electrician's cart and then around the corner. Mm -hmm. All right. I shall go back to my um, headquarters. All right, you go back to number two, the Green Dome. Lovely, large, old-looking building with a green dome. Take the lift down. Okay. The bald guy is down there. Apparently, he doesn't get to sleep ever. <laughs> Would um, explain a lot. Num number 37, could you please get me the file on number 45? Um, yes, sir. It gets you, once again, the highly redacted file. Uh, all you can really tell about her is uh, she is divorced, straight, and was an inventor. Doesn't say of what. Oh, and the file also suspects that um, she helps report uh, fake plots to the uh, uh, authorities here in order to keep them on their toes. Oh, okay. AKA a jammer. Yep, yep, yep. That's what they call them here. Give me a listen roll. There's a lot of chatter and conversation in here as people are watching things. Yep. Oh, great. You heard one of the um, watching guys say that the electrician has reported uh, missing a few uh, special tools. Number 37 told him not to bother him 
with inconsequential details while number two is present. What's the number of the person who said that? Number 307. Which, sorry, 307, could you please repeat which tools are missing? He looks panicked uh, that you somehow heard him across a noisy room. Uh, he, he gives you the tools. Basically, it's like a wrench, a screwdriver, stuff like that. Tools for making things. All right. Could you bring up the surveillance of, and I'll say where the, the elect, where I saw the 45 walk past the electrician cart? Mm. He attempts to uh, operate his monitor with shaking hands. Let's see how this goes. I seems to be, I'm sorry, sir. We don't have a recording of that exact place and time. Mm. Which is probably why they were lifted then. Do you think this is important? Says so number 37 to number two. Um, well, I noticed number six and number 45 conversing, and when they saw me, they quickly went separate ways, and I saw number 45 walk past the electric... Was, was it, it was number 45 that went past the electrician car, not number six, wasn't it? Number 45, yep. Yeah, yes, and I saw number 45 walk by the electrician's car. The fact that there are now tools missing... So can we please uh, increase surveillance on number 45? Yes, sir. Um, also... They twist a lot of dials and stuff that seems to have no impact whatsoever on their the image they're viewing. Um, <laughs> can I have a look at the files of 73, 106, and 111 as well? After a panic... They get those. Um, number 73, female, average height, stocky, unremarkable face. Um, she's uh, pretty much a toady. Um, it was judged to be retrainable, sent to the island to be broken and retrained. Uh, apparently, she saw she's a pilot, and apparently, she saw something she wasn't meant to. Well, piloting and shit um uh, she is it also uh mentions in the file married her husband is not on the island number 106 male short uh black skin missing three fingers on his right hand um it mentions that he may be schizophrenic. He was a uh, fisherman, um, sailed his own boat, mm -hmm. and a physicist. The fishing thing was more of a hobby. Doesn't say why he's in here. Probably found something or learned something he shouldn't. Last person, number 111, male average height, older guy with gray hair and eyes, has a tattoo on his arm of a very ornate fish. Um, it's a weird looking tattoo of a fish with like a lot of swirls and stuff that could be writing, but you're not sure if it is. Um, they haven't uh, gotten to crack him. Uh, he likes to sneak around and irritate the watchers by avoiding cameras and stuff. Apparently, just all the time. Uh, his old occupation was aerospace engineer. The on the map there is a ship, which I don't think you mentioned when I went for mm. a wander around. It's made of concrete. Definitely isn't going anywhere. Uh, but you can climb around it or pretend you're on a ship. Okay. I thought in the pictures I saw a boat. That's the one. Oh, okay. It looked like an actual boat, though, what I thought I saw in the pictures. 
the sail is real, but the boat part is not. Oh, okay. Why they would put that there, you have no idea. To taunt people with the illusion mm. of being able to sail away. Mm -hmm. 